Welcome to another episode of Mental Health and Makeup Monday. Today I'm going to be talking about burnout. Why you're burned out and what to do about it. Right then. Moving. Alright, let's make some magic happen, shall we? So, you're burned out, you're frazzled, you're irritable, you're depleted of energy, you can't get stuff done. Why might that be? It's likely because you are trying to be superhuman, all right? And you can't do that, okay? Keep you by my side with my superhuman might, quick tonight. <laughs> so if you find that you are scattered, depleted of energy, have difficulty focusing, and you're not diagnosed with ADHD like myself, then it's important that you listen to the following, okay? <laughs> Burnout is typically due to prolonged stress. It is often characterized by exhaustion and apathy. Additional signs might include listlessness, lack of creativity, reduced performance and productivity, anxiety and fatigue, lack of a sense of purpose, quick to anger and irritability. You might suffer from headaches more, general physical pains, difficulty sleeping. You might also find yourself not wanting to eat much or overeating. Why does burnout happen? There are a lot of reasons, but I'm just going to give you some common ones. Okay. You feel excessive pressure to people, please. You might also lack boundaries, lack of work-life balance, false beliefs such as if you want things done, you have to do it yourself. So you might have a tendency to take on more than what is realistic. All right, so I didn't practice this look, just FYI, so I might walk away looking like a clown, but that's all right. It just washes off, no big deal. Anyway, moving on. Now, before I go on to tell you some things that you can focus on to start to address this, I'm gonna give you a few more reasons that burnout is a thing. Okay, so don't go anywhere. <laughs> It's important. So another reason that you might have a tendency to get burned out is due to perfectionistic tendencies. So going back to what I was saying about that false belief that if you want something done right, you gotta do it yourself. Oftentimes that's present for perfectionists. All right. That's another reason. Okay. Also a need for control kind of goes hand in hand with that idea. That's also another reason why I look like I just got punched in the eye, don't I? Now, this next one is oftentimes not talked about that much, which is a need to distract yourself from things that make you uncomfortable. So you drive yourself into the ground, avoiding emotions and thoughts that might be bringing you down. All right, so that's another reason. If I go crazy, then will you still call me Superman? All right, I'm gonna be getting to the good stuff, okay? So don't go anywhere. But before I do, I wanted to let you guys know that hearing other people's stories can be very helpful. So. I ran across a YouTuber who shares her struggles. So, link is down below, so go check that out. I don't know if I like this. Maybe if I put some sparkle. You know I like to sparkle. No matter what I do, I don't think I'm recovering from this, but whatever. Can't stop now, that would mean I have to start all over filming and that's just not gonna happen because, you know, I'm not about being perfect, in case you didn't know. Also, I don't wanna burn myself out, so there's that. All right, buckle up, here we go. So what can you do about burnout? This is a very good question, which is why you're here. Numero uno, you gotta recognize the signs, all right, which I just gave you, so you're welcome. Number two, be realistic about your expectations. Are you expecting to be all the things, you know, superhuman or superman or superwoman? Are you expecting yourself to work nine to five, come home, cook dinner, do the laundry, play with your kids, call your mom or your dad, rescue friends, listen to their problems? Nobody is capable of doing all that, all right? I'm not even sure if Superman was. So it's completely unrealistic to think that you can do all the things. And it's also completely unrealistic to think that you can be 100% all the time, all right? So you got to get your expectations in check, okay? Because I said so. Additionally, you really want to be very aware of what your limitations are and be honest with yourself. All right? Don't lie to yourself. I feel like I say that in every video, but you know, it's part of working on yourself. Okay? You can't work on yourself if you're lying to yourself. Okay? What does this remind me of? It never ceases to amaze me how ridiculous I can make myself look. But you know, for educational and entertainment purposes, I don't mind. But I certainly hope that I can recover from this. We will see. I am out of makeup wipes. Frick. Shit, I'm gonna leave this running. I don't wanna mess with it again. We're back. I'm back. 
All right, so another thing you're gonna wanna do is reflect on what is making you feel like you have to do it all. What is driving you to burn the candle at both ends? I always get a little carried away with that flick, but you know, what are you gonna do? Not my favorite look, but you know, whatever. For example, let's say that what drives you to burn the candle at both ends is avoidance of your feelings. Do you have difficulty sitting with your emotions? Do your emotions make you so uncomfortable that you feel like you gotta run from them? That could be a thing. So you're gonna wanna learn how not to pathologize what you're feeling, all right? So when we say things like, I shouldn't feel this way, or what's wrong with me, or I'm overreacting, or all the things, you're essentially saying there's something wrong with how you're feeling. Don't do that. You gotta learn how to validate what you're feeling, all right? Very interesting. All right, I'll give you another example. Let's say that you have identified that perfectionism is part of the reason why you drive yourself into the ground. How do you challenge that? What is the worst thing that can happen if something doesn't turn out completely perfect? All right, is the world gonna completely fall apart if something you do is not completely perfect or you make a mistake? Probably not, all right? Again, you're not Superman or woman, all right? So don't drive yourself crazy with that. I really wish I knew what this would remind me of. Another thing you're gonna wanna do is to take a pause and wait before you decide to commit to anything, okay? And you're gonna wanna do this after you have reflected on what is a priority to you, all right? What are you responsible for that's important to you? What you've gotta take care of before you take on anybody else's stuff. And essentially learn how to say no or not right now. Another thing to consider is reaching out to others, family, friends, therapist. You can't carry it all by yourself. If you do, it's going to weigh you down, leading to more burnout, which is what we're trying to avoid. So don't be afraid to ask for help. All right, it's important. Now this one you might hear a lot, taking a time off just for yourself. And I know that there are circumstances in which we are not able to do that. But it's not like you have to take a full day or a week or two weeks or whatever. You can take like mini breaks throughout the day. Make sure you're stopping to take lunch for instance. I know I do this all the time. My husband is always on me about it, but the work can wait. So, you know, just keep that in mind. Keep you by my side. Superhuman might trip night. <laughs> so work-life balance is really important. Nurturing your social life and your relationships is going to be key as well to avoiding and preventing burnout, okay? Also, if you've identified that you're looking for external validation for your worth or your value, then that's an area that you're definitely going to want to confront, either independently or in therapy, okay? And brainstorm ways that you might be able to provide that for yourself. And a lot of that has to do with your self-talk, not feeling good enough and all things. And if you need help managing that inner critic, go check out that video that I did not too long ago if you missed it. Make sure that you're not falling into that comparison trap, which I also did a video on. That one sneaks up on us real quick. I don't know if I like this. I don't think that I do. Also, you wanna figure out what you're allowing to define you. Are you allowing success at work or climbing a corporate ladder to define your existence? If so, you might find yourself going and going and going like the Energizer Bunny, trying to get somewhere and then burning yourself out and not getting anywhere, all right? So don't do that. Because like I said, you're not Superman, all right? I'm looking tired. Well, the mascara is helping a little bit, but not enough, unfortunately. Right then, almost there, guys. Thanks for sticking with me. I just wanna say hello to all of our new subscribers. We're a little over 200, so yay. Glad you're here, Woo! all right? Cool, thanks. Also, you want to make sure that you're connecting with your sense of purpose and meaning in what you're doing. When we're burned out, it's really easy to forget that. So spend some time reflecting, okay? And if you find that you are unable to, oh, I can't do this, I'll be right. This looks ridiculous. Right, so as I was saying before I realized that I could not do my lips while I was talking, even though I already know this, I just seem to forget. But I get on a roll, okay? So forgive me. What was I saying? All right, so you want to make sure that you're reconnecting with your meaning and purpose behind what you're doing. Really try to stop and think, okay, what is the reason you're doing this? And if it's purely financial, then maybe you have some reflecting to do on whether or not you continue doing that thing, all right? Because we need more than finances to motivate us. I mean, most people anyway, aside from, you know, certain types. So, 
yeah not sure how i'm feeling about this look guys maybe if i add a little highlight at the top maybe that might help a little bit no not my cup of tea <gasps> that's what it reminds me of the cat from alice in wonderland what was his name i can't think of it right now oh alice 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 yes the cheshire that's right cheshire cat i remember i kind of like it now that i made that connection how silly is that i'm not crazy my reality is just different than yours i'm not sure if that's how he sounded but i kind of imagine him as english maybe he was i don't know what do you guys think well i'm a little mad around here I think I'm gonna extend my eyeliner. Let's have some fun. Haste makes waste, so I barely hurry. He's got some good advice, that cat. Oh yeah, also another thing to think about. Are you trying to rush through life? You know, that could be another reason that you are burning yourself out. All right, yes, darling. How very strange. I'm a stranger, you a stranger. Together, we are strangers. How do you know I'm mad? You must be or you wouldn't be here. No, you're not crazy. You just burned out, all right? So take a break. 